I'm Eugenio Tolentino, welcome to Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Santa Rosa Campus. Here's another video presentation from 2014 graduating batch of Electronics and Communication Engineering. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Hi, I'm Michael, Arthur, and I'm Erica. We are the representative from the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, Santa Rosa Campus. We are here to present our thesis study under the supervision and advisory of Engineer Rosalita E. Tolentino. Our study is entitled Design and Implementation of Pigeon Neural Movement of Robotic Wrist Using Linear Motor. The wrist muscles are those which move the wrist and are mostly found in the forearm with the long tendons crossing the wrist joint and attaching to the bones of the hand. This presentation describes the movements permitted in the wrist proper. Anatomically, the radiocarpal joint is formed by the radius and the articular disc proximally and the proximal row of carpal bones distally. It allows the wrist to do the pitch and yaw movement. For pitch movement, this activity is described as flexion motion which is tilting towards the palm. The maximum angle that a human wrist can perform is 75 degrees from its initial position. On the other hand, this movement is extension motion, which is tilting towards the back of the hand. The maximum angle permitted in extension motion is 70 degrees. Demonstrated in this presentation is abduction or radial deviation which is the movement towards the thumb from 0 to 25 degrees. This muscles allows the wrist to do abduction. Lastly is the adduction or the ulnar deviation which is the movement towards the little finger from 0 to negative 20 degrees. These muscles are the one that helps the wrist to execute abduction. However, movements at the wrist cannot be properly described without including movements in the distal radio ulnar joint, in which the rotary actions of supination and pronation occurs. The prototype is made up of a solid aluminum alloy to sustain the weight to be applied for lifting. The pitch and yaw movement of the robotic wrist is dependent on the movement of the linear motors while the roll movement is provided by a servo motor. The movement of the robotic wrist are mimicked from a controller that is made up of potentiometers, serving as a sensor for the movement of the human wrist. Implementing linear motors for pitch and yaw movement is a new design for the development of robotic wrists, especially for weightlifting. The L16 linear equator can handle a maximum force of 14 newton in extended position. Two linear motors are used in one degree of freedom, which allows the robotic wrist to lift up to 7 kg load for each movement. For more videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Bye!